Nick, I want to ask you a question in terms of how are you, I need to, I think that you are a product of the culture and where it is today. Because how are you any different than someone like Ilhan Omar saying that white men should, are a danger to society? I think we live in this world now in the culture where making money off of being sensational and getting more followers and getting more attention is a direct result of where we are as a culture. And to me, that's very sad. Because men like Eisenhower, men in our, we stand on the shoulder, shoulders of giants. Do you think that they would ever, ever say the things that you have said? No, no, no. Yeah. They might have said it. They all but agree to, with But me. to make money, no, Eisenhower does not believe that the Holocaust uh, did not Careful. happen. And well, Nick, Eisenhower had concentration camps himself. You probably don't know that because you don't even Nick, know Nick, any Nick, books. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, there were, they were camps for Japanese people, but they weren't systematically I'm, No, I'm talking about camps in Germany. Is, my point is, do you, do you believe that you are effective or do you do this to gain attention and to make money? Uh, yeah, uh, let me reply to that because a lot of people accuse me of that. It's a pretty curious way for a person like me to make money by getting myself banned from the banking system. I can't have a personal checking account. I can't have credit card processing you on my website. You didn't know that you were gonna get banned though when you started saying all this stuff. I think it was pretty established even back then. Chuck Johnson, Milo, all those guys got banned way before me. It would be far more lucrative to do what you do and talk about Hamas as the enemy of the world because there's no shortage of jobs for people that carry water for that. But if you oppose it, you get banned from everything, you get kicked out of turning point, you get whatever. So let me just say it hasn't been especially lucrative for a person like me to not have access to the financial system. Just to be clear, and I'll come to you. So just to be clear, I think you made up a good point about the attention economy. Attention is a currency these days in whether it's with your finances, with views, the eyeball economy, with women. That's how they, you know, suck resources out of men, time, energy, uh, attention. Um, what you say, is it, do you actually believe what you say or is it the good old fashioned shock jock, let's shock the system and be bombastic? How do you process I that? would have to believe what I say because I've gone through a process which, you know, I, I don't wish on people. It's not, and it's not just being banned from the banking system, which I don't think you realize. It means I can't make money. Imagine if you couldn't accept credit cards on your website. Mm -hmm. You have a huge platform, but if you didn't have YouTube, if you didn't have super chats, if you couldn't accept credit cards, the ability to make money rapidly disappears. As far as the sensationalism goes, you know, I'll admit I'm sensational like anybody, it's marketing, but I've gone through the gauntlet of what I have at a very young age. And, and again, like I said, it's the financial, it's the social media deplatforming, mm -hmm. it's being ostracized by my high school friends and, and you know, the whole gamut of having views like I have because I really believe them. And it's founded not by the way in like, race baiting or something. It's founded in my conviction in Catholicism. If you mm -hmm. knew anything about me, what really changed in college is not just that one inquiry about the foreign aid, it was the fact that I picked up a Bible actually for the first time in my life in college and I genuinely thought about death. And I realized that what we have today is a world order that is totally set against Jesus and totally set against God. And so it's on my heart to do this, no matter the cost, even if it, you know, even Nick, if it's Nick, let me ask me. you, and then I'm coming, I'm coming to Nima because he hasn't spoken. So I have this. There's a bio, mm -hmm. right? Some of it is probably accurate. I would say most of it. Some of it might not be. Because I would like to, your message to be conveyed correctly. Sure. So I'm just going to read you a couple things of what it says, but then I would like, forget about this. You write your own bio. Hmm. Right, I'm going to give you this, and you say, you know what? Here's what I stand for. Short. Quick, not a whole espousal, right? Nick Fuentes, known for holding anti-Semitic views and denying the Holocaust. That's what it says here. He's a far-right supremacist and political commentator and live streamer. He identifies as a member of the incel movement and as a supporter of authoritarian government and is a Catholic integralist. 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 I gotta learn how to read. And white Christian nationalist. Uh, in 2020, seeking to establish a white supremacist conference to rival CPAC, Fuentes began holding the annual America First Political Action Committee, AFPAC. Um, Fuentes attended 2017 white supremacist rally in Charlottesville and later as the attendee of speaker events preceding the 2021 
United States Capitol attack. Um, so there's a bio. Uh, how much of that is accurate? Uh, and here's your chance to write your own bio. Well, a lot of it's not true. Every time they say my name, they got to throw in white supremacist, white nationalist, anti-Semitic, neo-Nazi. You mm -hmm. know, I don't identify with any of those things. I'd say I'm a Catholic American nationalist. Catholic American nationalist. nationalist. But, you know, at the, I understand that. Um, but, you know, they say, you know, you are your reputation. You know, like Michael, no matter what you, Michael I tries to tell me. I don't know what you're No matter what true. Michael tries to tell no, me, I, I know that that dude is out in <laughs> Vegas. I know he's with women. I know he's got high profile buddies. I don't care what he says. I'm seeing the words. He has a reputation, right? Homeboy over there, reputation. He was been in the fashion industry. He says a lot of bombastic things. He has a reputation. I have a reputation. You go ask anybody in Miami, it's like, dude, Adam's been around the block, blah, 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 blah. You have this reputation. So what have you done to dispel this reputation? Well, I would say it's a little different. I mean, my reputation, if you talk to people that know me, because that's really what a reputation is, people that know you. not Because the Wikipedia, yeah. that's a Wikipedia article. It's just been established that the CIA runs Wikipedia. That just came out this week. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't necessarily say that what the press says about you is who you are. Yeah. Because if the press, if what the press said about you is who you are, then what does that make Andrew Tate? And what does that make that's Donald Trump or Alex yeah. Jones? And I would say that if you talk to people that know me, I'm a, I'm a polite, respectful person, and I treat everybody in a respectful way. I happen to have views that politically are totally against the system. And, and therefore, the media, which we know is controlled by the system, doesn't mm -hmm. have nice things to say about me. Um, and as, as far as dispelling you, my reputation... What do you mean by that? Oh, yeah, go ahead. What, you know, what have I done to dispel that? I mean, at the end of the day, what can a person do? I mean, I've had special guests at my event. I've had speakers at my event that are black. How am I a white supremacist? I've had my whole lineup be black speakers. The guy that got me on the show yeah. is black. Oh, yeah. I have Jewish friends. Some of the people that I cite the most in these debates, like Michael Sartain's been doing his research, I know that. The primary author I cite is Jewish. His name's Ron Unz. The other author I cited mm -hmm. on Fresh and Fit, Israel Shayhawk, is Jewish. Another good friend of mine, Darren Beatty, runs Revolver, Jewish, Laura Loomer. I, at great personal expense, people call me a hypocrite for this. I went out and supported her, and I was there on her election night party. Mm -hmm. She's a hardcore Jewish Zionist. Now, I happen to believe that she's America first. We disagree on that issue. But the point is, is, you know, all you'd have to do is take a look at the company I keep, and, you know, it's, it's a diverse panel. Gotcha. Nima, uh, you mentioned his name. I don't know what that situation was, but the, de the deplatforming, you mentioned a guy. What, 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 you, you mentioned Nima's name. Well, you were responding to something he said. What was that that you mentioned At to him? At what point? I mean, I've, I've, uh, the mutual friend or something? Oh, yeah, he talked about Ali. Okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been canceled for standing up a, to toxic feminism. I lost about 800,000 followers on TikTok. I empathize with both of you. But uh, I just wanted to chime in on what Michael said, because uh, I agreed with it um, on you, Nick. And I, and I do think you're being pretty professional, and you seem like a nice guy in person, uh, to, to your credit, you know? Um, now, to, to what Michael said, uh, you do complain that people, you, you, you get angry that people are complaining that you use the N-word, that you said Hitler is very cool. But uh, 45 minutes ago, you threw a huge fit whenever anyone here brought up the accusations of you watching child porn. I don't think that's an accusation. Who's accusing me of that? I, mean, it's, it's, I think Ethan, I think Ethan Ralph, I think quite a few people online yeah, what have you talked talking about, about you being a closet homosexual as well and watching okay. child porn. I mean, it's, 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 I think you know what I'm talking about. And Nima, where well, are you getting this story from? I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, what, it's, what, it's what a, evidence do you have you for getting, any of this? He could speak the, for himself. That you're a closet homosexual? Yeah, what's the evidence? I think, I think enough it's people not. have told me. I think it's been all over it. So the what's internet. the evidence if you know? What's the evidence that you're straight? What's the, you said I'm gay, child porn. What's the evidence? Let's How hear many, it. What's the I case? I think there's been at least two people in your group that have basically been caught around, you know, with pedophilia. Who? Ali was one. And what is my relationship with him? Tell me. I don't know. You got fired by Kanye's campaign, so, didn't you? you Just so like you don't did, know. But you got fired by him, didn't you? Uh, no. But let's talk about Ali because but, we could talk about Kanye, but let's talk about Ali because you said... Ali's in my group. What does that mean? Because you just said that. I mean, that's like your best friend forever, isn't it? He's my best friend forever? What's my relationship with him? You know what it is. Now you're downplaying it. You don't even, you but like you don't to, even know. 
Because you're here to attack me personally because you have defensive. some beef with my political you're, you're views. Getting, you're, I like Trump. You're getting defensive again. Because you're... Okay. I, I never set up Trump like you did when you... I when didn't you set did up when Trump. You just to be clear here, guys, just, just to be record. clear, he actually was... I don't know who Ali is, and that's why I'm generally being like, who the hell is Ali yeah. here? You mentioned it multiple times. Well, he don't even I hope know. you guys would clarify this. He actually was like, hey, I, I, I agree with you being deplatformed. I don't yeah. agree. I empathize with you. And then he comes but, in with the personal attack. Well, I think that's just no, it's not how people no. debate. Hey. But, that's so what's, not a, a debate. what's the point here, though, guys, gentlemen? I, I, just, I just find it rich that, you know, that, that you're doing this, Nick, because I, I think doing that... What? Nick, in your Telegram group, you've extensively made the joke that you're using comedy as a cover to shield you, that these people are all stupid. They don't figure out what you're doing. But, it, but you know what you're doing. And I think Michael was what right. What am I doing? You're really actually pushing hate and bigotry, man. Which is what? Hate against whom? Definitely towards Jewish people. In what way? I just got done saying I have Jewish friends. I, Pearl is my friend. I was on Pearl's show. Did you see when Pearl got... Uh, attacked on Piers Morgan. I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you looked at and if you looked at Pearl's uh, Twitter, she literally put a Jewish guy on her Twitter and said, "I can't wait to have you back on the show." I made jokes on women for about two hours, three hours straight mm -hmm. in London a month ago, and and she laughed. That's great. How no, am I pushing hate? Hold on, and she laughed. So when she made a song about the Jewish people, Which I we said, have. You know, "We'll play the clip." I said, "I said." I said, okay, fine. I mean, just like Chappelle made jokes about Jewish people. I mm -hmm. said, fine. But, but, but I think, you know, to, to Pearl's credit, she's here making songs that are, I found offensive, but I supported her mm -hmm. freedom of speech. Well, why was that offensive? Why was that song offensive? Well, let's play the clip and we can have this conversation. Yeah. Did you want to weigh in before we yeah, play well, the clip? I just want to say one more thing. Well, don't go off topic because we're going to go to this well, clip. But can I defend yeah. myself a little yeah. bit? Well, I mean, well, I'm I'm How about this, go guys? Since, well, well, since I'm on your guys' show, when can I play the clip that we're talking about here? <laughs> oh, oh, five minutes. When can I play the it. clip that we've teed up we that, that, that you guys are literally discussing? You guys tell me how to run my show. I'll let you know. I'm going to take a smoke break real quick. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauzcast, click right here.